All right, Mr. Ahmed here for 7.7. .7. Goal for today is still factoring polynomials. Uh, we're gonna look at some special cases here, and uh, these ones are just going to be a little bit quicker. So let's jump right in. All right, first one, just a little warm-up question. X plus one squared. Keep in mind that is not X squared plus one. We have to rewrite it. That means X plus one times itself X plus one. Have to FOIL. Distribute the X, X squared plus 1x, now distribute the 1, 1x plus 1. So, combine the middle term, then I get x squared plus 2x plus 1. So this leads us back to when we were multiplying these special cases. We can also recognize this and factor it using the special case. And that involves perfect squares. Okay, so we have two types of perfect square trinomials. The first type is when the first term's a perfect square, the last term's a perfect square, and the middle term's positive. The other type is when the last term's a perfect square, the first term's a perfect square, and the middle term's just negative, okay? So the characteristics is, remember, always check to see if there's a GCF first. If so, factor it out. If the first and last terms are perfect squares, and the middle term is two times the product of the perfect squares, we can use the special case. So, I mean, ultimately, I'm not gonna lie, I usually see these and I use our method of TLC is one, Factors of nine that add up to six. All right, that, that's really probably the way I'm gonna look at it. Uh, but I can use the special case as well. So I'm gonna show you both ways. So here, if I look at this and I say the factors of nine that add up to six, factors of the last term add to the middle term, those are three and three. So I would write it as x plus three times x plus three. And now here I would recognize that that's the same thing. So I can rewrite that as x plus three squared. Now, using our special case, I notice that the first term is a perfect square. All right, the square root of x squared is x. The square root of nine is three. If I multiply those together, three x, and double it, so that's what we just said here, two times the product of the perfect squares. So x times three, two x, times two is six x, that's the middle term. I could just write it as x plus three squared. So I'm gonna go about that one this time. Square root of y squared is y. 64 is a perfect square, and that is an eight. I am gonna change this to a plus sign. Without this being a plus sign, this doesn't work, so that really needs to be a plus. That was a typo on our part. Now, eight times y is eight y. Double it, I get 16. But since the middle term's negative, there has to be a minus sign in between, so I would write it as y minus eight squared. Okay, or you could just think to yourself factors of 64 that add up to negative 16 and you get negative eight and negative eight. Choice is yours. Now this case would be a little bit tougher because you'd have to use the AC method. All right, but the square root of four X squared is two X, the square root of one is one. Multiply them together, two X, double it, that's the middle term, it's positive, so a plus sign goes in between and we get two X plus one squared. So like I said, you could use the AC method too, all right? Uh, the choice is yours. Uh, the option is there. These are just shortcuts when you're seeing perfect squares. Go ahead and hit pause and try the next three. All right, hopefully you had some success here. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 36 is six. Multiply them together, we get six x. Double it, that's the middle term, negative 12, so it is gonna work. Middle term's negative, so it's a minus sign in between. x minus six squared or you could have got x minus six times x minus six. Square root of nine x squared is three x. Square root of four is two. Multiply them together, six x. Double it, that's the middle term of 12. So we'd have three x plus two squared. Two y squared is not a perfect square, so have to look for a GCF first. All right, take out the GCF. GCF is two. So, 
2 parentheses y squared plus 6 y uh, 18 divided by 2 is 9. All right, now, this kind of leads us to where we're heading with the last lesson. I can factor this as well. I took out the GCF, and now here, square root of 9 is 3, square root of y squared is y. 3y, double it, gets us our middle term of 6y. So I still have the 2 out there. Then I have y plus 3 squared. We got it. All right, the last special case. This one we're going to use quite a bit more often, and that's the difference of two perfect squares. So there's only two terms. Both terms are perfect squares. And one of the terms is negative. Okay, so steps to using this method. If there's a GCF, always factor the GCF first. Determine the square root of the first term. Determine the square root of the second term, and then we will add the square roots and subtract the square roots. So we're going to set up two uh, sets of parentheses, okay? So, perfect squares. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of y squared is y. So, difference, it's a minus sign in between. So in my two sets of parentheses, I'd have an x plus y and an x minus y. Add them and subtract them, okay? Here, let's see. Is there a GCF? Yes, there is. So first I need to factor out the GCF, which is three. Okay, three goes into both. Well, out, uh, 75 divided by three is 25 x squared minus 12 divided by three is four. Now we have the perfect squares. The square root of 25 x squared is five x. Square root of negative or four is two. So our three is still there. Then we have a 5x plus 2 and a 5x minus 2. We got it. All right. Next one. Those are perfect squares, but that's a plus sign. That's prime. Can't factor. It has to be a difference. These are both positive. One needs to be negative. All right, go ahead and pause and get the, uh, the U tries a shot. All right, hopefully we had some success. Square root of 16x squared is 4x. Square root of 1 is 1. It's a minus sign in between, so we have a 4x plus 1 in the first set. 4x minus 1 in the second set. Last one, square root of 16x squared is 4x. Square root of 36y squared is 6y. It's a minus sign in between. We're good to go. 4x plus 6y and 4x minus 6y. If you foil it out, you'll end up with what we started with. That's it for today. Have a good one.